Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across an exception processing message error code 0XC000007B parameters when you're booting up your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you do have a few options here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and skip to if you just want to hide this message. So I'm going to go through a couple ways of how to go about resolving it, but I just want to go through the method of how to hide this message first. So we're just going to assume that you've done the other methods I'm going to show later in this video, but I'm just going to show the, the hiding of this error first. So just because it makes a little bit more sense when I do the flow of this video, as you will see in a little bit, but we're going to start once you're ready to do this method by opening up the star menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to go back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. So once you've done that, we're ready to begin and we're going to start by expanding the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing for the system folder. Same thing for current control set 001, so double click on that. Should be a control folder right underneath of that. Double click on it. And now there should be a Windows folder. Just scroll down a little bit right here. And just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our path, you can see the top of the registry editor here. Each backslash indicates a different folder we've gone under so far. So now if we direct our attention over to the right side, there should be a D word value that says error mode. If you do not see one in here, with the exact spelling and capitalization of the E and the M as you see here. You would want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value and name a D word value after this. So error mode, like I said, if you have one already in here, you want to double click on it. You want to set the value data to zero. So make sure it says zero in here and base should be hexadecimal by default. Select OK. Once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of here, and if you restart your system, you shouldn't have the problem anymore. If you're still having the issue, and this is kind of basically, that was like the workaround that I was showing at the end, I would suggest trying to open up the star menu, so this could be method one if you want to consider that. So if you want to consider this as method one, you can. So we're going to type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple of commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one and then we're going to run one and then we're going to copy the second one and then run that one. First one's going to be a system file checker utility. So just copy that from my description. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And then we're going to go ahead and run the second one once this one is done.
Okay, so once that scan is done, you're going to want to go paste in the second command I have in the description of the video, and you're going to want to run that as well.
Okay, so you completed successfully. So this point, just close out of here. Restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.